Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a very special day for my family today. It, uh, we're going to open this, this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeously expensive kettle. If, you're, if you don't live in the UK, you do not understand how this, this appliance is probably the most important electrical appliance in the home. It's used about, how, how many times a day would you say? At least 10. Yeah, at least 10 times a day. This is our old kettle. Uh, it's, it's a Bosch and granddad gave it to us. So we, we did all right there. We've had it for, we had it before COVID, didn't we? So we've had this kettle for over five years now. But this is the problem. If you touch the bottom of it, I don't know why, because it's plastic. So I don't know why there'd be this black gunk under the lid. <laughs> I think it's going out time, isn't it? This is walk time. Uh, <laughs> anyway, look, this, look, it's just black. I just don't know where it's coming from. The other thing is the base has probably seen better days. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye Bosch kettle. This is your last boil. <laughs> I'm going to make your family happy with this brand new, stupidly expensive, top of the range, Dulit water kettle, the classic kettle. And all, all we're going to do is unbox it because we're gagging for a, a cup of tea right now. And this is a first impressions unboxing. We bought this with our own money. Well, we didn't buy it with our own money, did we? We, uh, we bought it with our John Lewis vouchers, a lot of vouchers. This costs on Amazon in the US, it costs $200. So this has better be good. Oh, oh, by the way, I'll put a link to this down in the description if you want to take a look at it yourself. Nice packaging and ah, oh, and it, it feels really substantial. What's nice about it is uh, it's got a quiet mark. So it says that it's, that it's quite quiet and it's got two viewing windows, one window either side. It's got this kind of silver trim at the bottom with the word Dulit embossed in it. The switch, there have been a lot of comments, I've read a lot of comments about the switch. The switch is plastic. Why would you do that? This is like a, well maybe it's for insulation, I don't know, an electrical thing. But the, the obviously the whole kettle is metal. I took a look at some of the kettles in Tesco earlier today and yeah, this kettle costs about 10 times more than the basic kettles in a supermarket. So will we get 10 times more use out of it? Who knows? Uh, it's got an interesting spout. I don't know if that's in focus. It's got a nice lid. Oh, okay. Oh, is there a button for the lid? No, you, you just, you, the button is you pull it up with your finger. <laughs> uh, let me show you inside. Uh, this is what it looks like inside. And there's a, a lime scale filter at the top here. And those red tabs, they're maximum fill signs. So you can see, you know, if you filled it up with water too much. Now we're really treating ourselves with this because we've used all our vouchers and I used a, a gift card as well. So we paid five pounds for this, <laughs> but it's worth 140 or $200. It's to go with the Dulit toaster that we got and that's lasted a while. We had that before the kitchen renovation. I think I've got some footage, some archive footage of it here in the old kitchen. and. <laughs> It's been through a lot. It went through a phase of my daughter getting a thing off TikTok where you cook something in chocolate and she put <laughs> she put chocolate toast into, into the julep. It just about survived. So it's, it's been through a lot. Should we give this its first outing? Oh, we need the base. There's a base that comes with it. And obviously we're in the UK, so it comes with a UK plug. I'm sure there's a European or US version. And wow, this feels like an award. <laughs> this is like a silver play button, but it's, it's actually plastic. Um, again, that's probably an electrical thing, isn't it? But it looks nice and chromey. I wonder if that will last. So it will go on like this. 
I could boil it here, shall I boil it here? And then we can avoid all of the mess in the background. Not the mess, the usual family life in the background. And on the first boil, isn't it the first boil you're supposed to not drink it because it's got factory mm. stuff on it? <laughs> it's my health and safety advisor behind the camera here. Usually you have your head in your hands when you're watching my videos, don't you? <laughs> when I'm <laughs> cooking meats. And I've edited out all the times I wash my hands and you're just hyperventilating while you're watching it. Uh, let's fill it up with water. Let's fill it up with water. Shall I fill it to the top? Okay, well, I've gone to max. But anyway, just to show you the change in our lives. So I'll turn it on by pressing the on button. Did anything? Oh, look, it's a little red light there. That's nice, isn't that? There's some weird fiber stuck in the, in the window there. There's a strange fibre thing stuck between the body of the kettle and the window. Yeah. What is it? Is it someone's hair? No, it's um, a bit of plastic. Oh, okay. I think it would have been covering this. Maybe. Okay, maybe we'll get some tweezers. Oh, I don't know how we'll get that out. And obviously, I suppose this, this is really obvious, but with the old kettle, it was plastic, so it was kind of cool to touch. And that is red heart. Is it? <laughs> yeah, because it's metal. I didn't, really think that. I didn't think that through. Whereas the other one, you know, feel hot, but you wouldn't burn your hand on it. Warm the room up. <laughs> okay, I'll put, we didn't time how long that, that lasted, but I'll put it on screen now, how long it took to boil. Um, I don't even know the... Uh, the quantity of water, I'll put that on, on screen as well. Ow, it's hot, so I'm used to touching the kettle. I didn't even think that through. <laughs> um, should we do a pour test? Did, did you kindly get me this mug? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So let's do a pour test. This is what it's like. I don't know what this spout was like looking at it online. This is how it pours. Oh, it's very elegant, isn't it? Oh, that's good. I thought that would be annoying, but it's strangely satisfying. <laughs> you can be really accurate with your pouring, I think, which would be good for hot water bottles. We ruled out using those, you know, those hot taps, those kettle taps, where you can dispense hot boiling water. Um, why did we do that? I just, they just seem like a bit of a faff. I think it was about a grand. Oh, okay, that's why we didn't get it. <laughs> There's something fresher about using a kettle, which is why we were shocked by how the other kettle looked on the inside. Let me read out some of the features from the box here. This Duolitz Classic Range kettle has a patented whisper boil, which drastically reduces unwanted boiling noise. It has dual windows, that's a, a water window either side. One side measures water in cups, the other side measures in litres. The capacity is 1.7 litres and it claims to be rapid boil. It has anti-wobble feet, a precision engineered non-dripped spout and a durable hinged lid. The measuring windows measure in both cups and litres and there's an ergonomic silicon grip handle. I am calling this a dad delivers. Oh, I am calling this a dad delivers success. Um, it's way too much to spend for a kettle, but treat yourself. Right here is what YouTube knows you want to watch. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up or the subscribe button. It really helps us to keep this channel going. So thank you. And right here is what YouTube knows you are going to love watching next after a nice cup of tea. <laughs> oh my God, it's half past five.